Hi everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. How to buy and how to use, that's what I'm here to do. RVs with Gabby at gmail.com Good afternoon, YouTubers and fellow campers alike. Welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to be taking a look at the 2022 Jayco Greyhawk 29MV. Let's check it out. Here is the 2022 Jayco Greyhawk 29MV. Your total length is just over 32 feet and change. Even though that sticker does say 29 on the side, you always gotta look up your total bumper to bumper length because it will vary by model. Uh, biggest feature on the Jayco Class C's that I always tell my customers is a huge benefit for you is gonna be the one piece seamless fiberglass front cap. If you look at other competition out there, they are going to have a seam that runs around the edge of that Class C cap, right? And it's not if, it's when that Class C cap is gonna leak. So what these guys did is they made a um, molded construction, like a aluminum cage construction underneath here that um, reinforces the bunk capacity inside. And then they pop this mold over it and it's a one piece fiberglass mold, just like the hull of a boat, it is it's popped over that aluminum cage construction and the actual true sidewall does run um, further back behind there. So you've got a limited area for, for water damage intrusion and it's been a huge feature for people. They love that upgrade. A nice clean look on the cap and your bunk capacity is 750 pounds on this versus most other brands out there are going to be uh, rated about 300, 400 pounds. So super heavy duty bunk, super nice looking class C cap. Moving along the side of the unit, you've got the chrome upgraded mirrors with the side view cameras down below them. Upgraded from the Red Hawk, you do have fiberglass running boards. You also get um, metal slam latch baggage doors versus twist ties on some other brands out there. So that's a nice feature. You've got frameless windows, nice big awning above me here. And the biggest feature, second biggest feature on their Class C lines is their J-Ride package. Now, when you step from the Red Hawk to the Gray Hawk, you get J-Ride Plus, and that's gonna add the Coney shocks. These are upgraded shocks. They are the same ones they use on high-end racing vehicles, and that's gonna help with, um, let's say you're going over a bridge, right? And you, you got that dunk da dunk da dunk going on. Um, that's gonna limit that, and you're not gonna feel every single bump as you're riding. So those Coney shocks are super great upgrade to have when you step into a Greyhawk. You also have a computer balance drive shaft, right? So limiting the, limiting the steering shaking as you're driving down the road. You've got front and rear upgraded sway bars in the back, uh, stabilizer bars, pardon me. Front and rear upgraded stabilizer bars, and in the rear, you've got a heavy duty rear, stabilizer bar it's going to help with the movement of the coach right so it's not swaying so much back here if you look under behind these wheels you can actually see the helwig helper spring that inverted leaf spring up front up top here what that's going to do it's going to bring the load of your coach from because it's usually pretty rear heavy right back into the middle so overall it's just going to be a smoother ride You're not going to be porpoising as much and finally last but not least you've got the um jounce bumpers you see those hockey puck looking things right there so what these do and actually i think they're called rubber isolation mounts pardon me the jounce bumpers are on your class a's rubber isolation mounts there you've got them between the house and the chassis in certain locations that's just going to help with overall noise reduction so computer balance drive shaft upgraded stabilizer bars hellwig helper springs rubber isolation mounts and then on the j-ride plus those coney shocks massive 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 thing to have on your class c's most people who do not get a j-ride package other brands out there you'll end up purchasing aftermarket you know upfittings for the chassis to ride smoother why not buy a product that already has it right huge benefit for the customers you've got your two-year three-year warranty from jayco right so two-year uh, limited on the build interior and three-year structural for the exterior roof is going to be an upgraded one-piece molded fiberglass roof now this is molded it's curved over the edge of the of the coach as you can see 
so it runs it has a little bit of runoff for the rain to, to not catch right there so it's not gonna have any water pooling on the roof everything's gonna seamlessly flow off that roof right looks beautiful you've got a ladder up here that gets you to the roof area so that you can check the caulking every couple months especially down here in Florida oh oh man before I hit record I didn't check if this was unlocked all right, I got this rear storage door open. So no massive pass-through storage here, but it is a fairly large space. You can fit a couple chairs, maybe a couple umbrellas that fold away, a grill, whatever you wanna bring on your camping adventures. You can probably fit it in here pretty nicely. Okay, there's that slam latch technology, right? Give it a nice good push versus something like this. You've got those twist ties, right? Coming around the back, you have a 8,000 pound, or I'm sorry, 7,500 pound trailer capacity to pull. You do have a 750 ton weight. Now this is, this means you can truly pull 7,500 pounds. If you're looking at a coach and it says 8,000 pounds gross trailer weight, but it says 500 pound tongue weight, you can actually really only realistically pull 5,000 because you never want that tongue weight to be more than 10% of the total weight that you're pulling hope that made sense when it came out <laughs> um two slide outs right you've got slide toppers on both the slide outs and if you notice the slide track system is different for each one so you've got a schwinn tech here and then you've got an undermounted one below now the reason for this is jaco is always going to choose safety and quality over cost so you will not find that different slide outs have the same mechanisms because they wanna make sure that each slide out is gonna work for you and you're gonna enjoy your camping experience. So that's why you have different tracking systems for different weights of slides. The heavier duty slides need bulkier slide out mechanisms. That's what they're gonna do. Uh, it does make them a little bit more expensive, but in the end, you're gonna have a better overall experience with them. And that says something for the trip in general, right? You save money and then you can't enjoy your coach it really doesn't help outside shower here hot and cold water there here let's take a peek trying to do this one-handed may be difficult oh there you go see pretty easy hot and cold you've got a little switch there you could even mount it right here maybe uh, rig a little shower curtain on the outside if that's what you like to do Your generator's down below there. Should be a 4,000 watt Onan, Cummins Onan generator. It's gonna run off the same gas as your gas tank. And that is my exterior of the 29 MV. So let's go inside and check it out. So first stepping into the coach, on the right hand side, this is in the modern farmhouse interior. So you're gonna have the gray uh, furniture and the white with the chocolate accent cabinets. So you've got um, your seats here, which do swivel around in the Greyhawk. You've got your big radio screen, right? With, with all your controls, your Apple CarPlay, Android, all that music stuff. Above it is gonna be that 750 pound bunk, super wide. You can fit two adults up there comfortably, right? And pretty thick mattress here, so you will be comfortable. TV that swivels out there for people sleeping in there or if they want to hang out in the coach they can. I will show you the seating area next. This net now comes with the 2022s. This was um, done halfway through the year model change um, and now you can hook that up and I believe that net's only good for 200, 250 pounds. I have to double check that um, versus this is 750 but yeah 200 pounds or so on that net that you can load of cargo when you're traveling you protect it with that net and you can put stuff up there for travel this is the slide out right so your first slide out has this is optioned with the theater seats um they are manual theater seats super comfortable right they recline pretty well and you've got your cup holders in the middle valances are nice the gray whites and blacks and you've got cabinets above the theater seats they put gas struts on all your cabinets so your cabinets are not falling back down on your head right and if you feel on the inside here you can feel glued and screwed cabinets solid wood there's no um staples in there right so they don't they don't short you on cabinetry you've got your dinette it is a dream dinette so super easy to lift up and drop down and it's legless which means more of you can get in there comfortably and fit your legs and be comfortable sitting down 
Uh, ideally, your TV is on an angle. So yeah, sitting on the theater seats, you would be looking to the left a little bit. But if you sit on the far side of the dinette, pretty good at viewing angle there. I love this model for people that love to cook. You've got a ton of storage space in your kitchen, right? Pretty large microwave, uh, you know, basic size oven and stovetop. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, there's nothing special about this. It's at pretty average size, but it'll do the job, right? The counter space is the big part. Solid surface counters, so you're not gonna have any of that um, water absorption with like those OSB or, or T molded cap countertops that eventually suck in all the water and then it's uneven surface. Super solid surface here. You've got your double sink, stainless steel double sink. There should be, if I'm not mistaken, a cover as I go through every single cabinet for you guys to see. You should have a cover with this one somewhere in here for the sink, whether it's a drain cover or a solid cover, I'm not sure. Left is gonna be storage, right is gonna be no there's no um, shelf, and the reason for that is you have a place to put your garbage can. Small things people don't think about, right? More storage up top like I showed you. This unit is equipped with the two air conditioner options, so you're going to have two. Um, not sure if it's 13 or 15. Hang on a second. For some reason, my spec sheet is not giving me the exact measurements of how big the ACs are, but you've got two ACs and a 30-foot coach. You should be plenty cool down here in Florida, right? Um, that is an option on these. You can upgrade to two ACs, so that's a nice option to have. You've got a phone charger here, wireless phone charger. You just pop your phone on top of that and it'll charge it. AC control, first AC control is here. Your power control system is here on the right. Uh, it is a 30 amp coach with a power management system with two ACs. So the AC should actually be to 11,000, I wanna say, or 13.5. Um, but that'll keep, this will keep it from short circuiting. If you have too much running, it'll automatically shut off one of the ACs. If it's got to pull some power for something else. Fridge is here, right? Your Norcold fridge. This is the oh, freezer up top. My fridge door is a little stuck for some reason. I don't want to force it open. Um, but this is gas electric. Should be an option to upgrade the fridge. If you would like a bigger fridge, if you want a 12 volt system. And you've got pantry storage here to the right. On the left is your shower stall. Nice fixtures for the shower and a nice big skylight and then a hanging rod for your clothes and towels. For full privacy, you open up this door. It's gonna lock in right there. Oh, and I got a nice breeze in here because my fan is on. And in the bathroom, you have the fan. You've got a big medicine cabinet with the mirrors. There you go. Hey there, counter space is pretty good in this one. Uh, this is a wrapped countertop in here, so it's not solid surface in the bathroom like it is in the kitchen. And then storage below, and you've got your outlets for your hair dryer and things. And you've got a plastic toilet on this one. In the bedroom, you're gonna have a queen bed on a slide out, right? You've got um, shelves on either side. You've also got your overhead storage on this one. To the right is another slide control mechanism and then your second AC controls. And this is gonna be a sort of um, accordion style door that just uh, closes here for full privacy. If you're showering, you can close both sides. If you just wanna go to bed and the other, everybody else wants to get up, you can just close this off. And then if I step back here, you can get a better picture of this. This is your his and her storage with the TV in the center. Open this up. And you're gonna have hanging storage. Oh, there you go, see? Drying rack and cutting board there, told ya. And then that's your ladder, your collapsible ladder for the front bunk. Same thing on the other side here. See if there's any more no goodies on this side. But yeah, hanging storage. You can add stuff from the container store if you wanna build out shelves for more storage. TV should even open up a little bit to the side. Oh, actually lift from the bottom. So that's on gas struts that lifts up and you've got a nice little secret safe area here. Maybe put a safe back there. And that is my 29 MV. This is one of my last 2022s here. Uh, one last thing I will say, the ceilings are gonna be soft touch ceilings, right? And they are, these are T molds 
for your trim. So the trim's not gonna come down. It, the walls are actually placed inside that on either side. They're kind of like puzzled in there. So you won't have hanging trim in a Jayco, but also this soft touch ceiling is really nice because over the years with your AC, you're gonna get some condensation around this. And if you don't, um, with a plastic one, it kind of turns yellow around the AC ducts. With the soft touch, you can see the condensation, you can just wipe it off and it's that easy. And it will keep the life of your ceiling looking nice. The padding is also nice. It's a little bit of um, noise dampening reduction because that fiberglass roof, if it's raining, uh, it gives you a little bit of insulation and noise reduction with that padded ceiling. So that is my 2022 Greyhawk. Hope you enjoyed it. This is the 29 MV layout again, like I said. Total length's a little bit over 32 feet. And one thing I do wanna mention because I've had some customers calling me on this, for 2023, they are cutting the Greyhawk Prestige line. Um, what they used to have was for the Greyhawk Prestige, they had very similar layouts. And then you could opt, uh, you would basically get the upgrade, everything the Greyhawk has. You would get a overhead windshield here, right? Big, beautiful windshield with an electric shade that you could look out into the, see the stars out west and things like that. And you'd have like a molded plastic um, storage area around this that had like plugs for your electronics and little cubbies and things like that. I think there was even a cup holder or two, but that was in the Prestige model. And then the Prestige model also came with a outside TV. Since they have their Integra line, which is similar, um, and most people ended up getting the Prestige for that windshield, I believe that's why they are making this change for 23. You're gonna find no more Greyhawk Prestiges. You're just gonna be able to order the Greyhawk. You can option the full body paint, because that was the other option for the Prestige that people liked was full body paint. Um, you can get your Greyhawk with full body paint and it will now for 23 will come with that front windshield. So that's all I've got. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, happy camping.